should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. Our match today is Reims will face Ajaccio. Alan, what about uh, Reims? I think they've got to put away their disappointment, really, because they would have expected to be doing a bit better than this. They're fighting for promotion, but uh, with the squad they've got, I think they were fully expecting to be at the top of the table, but still time to recover. going to be very tough for the opposition today to break down the home team's defence. When you look at the stats, very few teams have broken them down. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. Reams and their lineup like this today. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. And once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous and push on. This is how the visitors shape up. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Check on the referee, Jean Rabot. Now the game has started. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Made the challenge well. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition can get at them. Good pass, getting it forward. Going for goal! Oh, he's hit that well, but not quite well enough. to the attack now excellent defensive tackle well they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration lost the ball as well and they've got to work hard to try and get it back Nuri strong challenge working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal now he's looking for support. Defender to it first. Cut out the pass. It's looking good, this move. Going to be a, a throw here. No wasting time here. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Promising build up until that challenge. All right.
That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Just working away to try and find an opening. That's a clever pass. Oh, and it didn't quite come off. Presented possession to the opposition now. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. It's gone out for a throw. Shots on here. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Wow. I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down might have to change what they originally started with yeah and i think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days you do see them slipping a bit more and uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match now what is the referee going to do here clearly a booking out comes the yellow card well he reached straight for his pocket he didn't really think about it but i think that's the good call you see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge, but it's definitely a foul. Well, it was badly timed. He didn't get the ball, and he knows he's committed a foul there. And he heads it for goal. Goalkeeper hangs on. He went in well. Poor throw, straight to the opposition. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. They're on the move now. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Good play, but they've lost the ball now. And this is how they love to play on the break. Got to be. Great goal here, and it puts them into the lead. They kept on going, one or two of his teammates thinking that the half-time whistle was going to go, but it didn't, and they scored. Yeah, and that certainly changed the team talks of both managers, I think, at half-time. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And that's half-time. Signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. Well, the hosts are winning here, and they're winning well at half-time. You would imagine so. I think for the manager, it's just a question of making sure everybody stays focused, switched on. now for the second half to start tackle here it's good play until they got that challenge in it was good progress with this attack probing away trying to find room for a shot maybe Really on top of... And now the shot! Well, it's tight with just a one-goal margin. It should be a two-goal margin. It's a miss. Yeah, and you wonder whether they'll look back and regret that because of a great chance to put some proper daylight between themselves and their opponents.
Nuri. Attacking now. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. And the pass not completed, really. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. In quickly. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. That's the way to win the ball back. Traore. He's coming forward with some danger. It's a neat pass. Here's the chance. Oh, they lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, it's a goal, and I don't think it'll be the last one they scored today, the way they're playing. No, and the opposition is all over the place. Just no semblance of organisation from them. Restarting at 2-0. 20 minutes now remaining. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. There's no time to panic, there's still time to change this game. Well, those defenders are going to be asked to head the ball. Quite a lot, I think. Plenty of aerial balls are going to be coming their way in the next few moments. Doing well to keep the ball. Well, he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out. And it will be their throw. Diego. And that's gone out of harm's way for a goal kick. Diego. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Diop. Substitute coming up for the away team. Caught under no challenge by the goalkeeper. Into the attacking third. This might be it. And he's put it in for the goal. He's kept his shot down. And he's got a goal to show for it. Nothing like for a manager seeing a goal like that. Real team effort. Great understanding between those lads down there. There's another one for them. Well, it's certainly going to help the goal difference. It might be important at the end of the season. I want to see this again, this goal. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Cissé. Fourth official has indicated three more minutes. There's the ball in. 
That's not a good cross at all, and easy to defend. Diego. Well, the final whistle has gone here, and a comprehensive victory by three goals to nil. Well, we've seen a game here, Alan, where one team has had the ball and the other team hasn't. <laughs> yeah, there was, uh, there was a golfing class out there today, which was surprising, given the two sets of players. I wasn't expecting it. Well, they have had such a great defence, the home side, and they've added to that quality with some real attacking skill today. Yeah, they've just brought it all together.